Hey guys, uh, Vanessa here. I'm back. And I would like to first off start by apologizing for not making a video last week. Um, just a lot of things were happening. I actually got a new job. And that's still no excuse to not make a video after I had told you that I would. So um, that's like never happening again. Today I will not be doing a makeup tutorial. However, that's not to say that I will not do one in a few days or next week or whatever video you want me to do next definitely let me know. Um, but today I am doing a video based on something that was requested um, about my FITM experience. And I would just like to start off by saying if you have not seen that video about my FITM entrance pro project, I will definitely leave the link below. I made a video a couple years ago, um, you know, based on me, you know, getting ready to go to FITM and whatnot. I did the entrance project that was required. Um, my letters of recommendation and all that and whatnot. The whole process, you know, was set to go. And so I did record that whole process um, for YouTubers to view, and I did get many views on it. Um, so if you would like to see that, I will definitely put the link in the description box below so that you can watch that if you're interested in possibly going to FITM, or if you would like to know about the projects in itself, or if you're interested in that particular um, subject. I did it based on product merchandise development, and that's definitely a good video for you to watch if you are interested in fashion. Basically, I have been interested in FITM for a very long time, all throughout high school. Um, how it all started was basically I had watched The Hills for a while. I know, I know. Everyone loves The Hills. Um, like or comment if you do like The Hills or you have watched it before. Um, so I had watched that for a very long time and I had seen that they had attended FITM or a lot of the girls in the video had attended FITM and I was just so intrigued and so like inspired by the whole ordeal, by the whole fashion scenery and by Lauren Conrad, she's very inspirational. Um, so I seen that, you know, I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to be just like her, I want to be just like them, I really want to, you know, be involved in the fashion world and work for the fashion industry and do whatever I can to be a part of that, you know, because I've always really loved fashion, I've always had a passion for just, you know, being able to find different and creative ways to create looks and whatnot. So I did seek out about FITM, I did my research, um, I stayed on top of it for a few years. And, you know, after all my research and whatnot, I'm like, oh my gosh, I really want to go there. Like, this is the school for me. I have to attend. I have to be a part of it. Because, you know, FITM does have a lot of connections and not just that. Um, you know, you can get a career after you're done with school, which isn't always a guarantee from most schools. But if you do your cards right, you can definitely, you know, find a really good career in the industry. So I completed about everything that I needed for being able to attend FITM. I had even actually moved to LA like because I was that serious about it. I, When I believe in myself about something and I really want something, I'm definitely a go-getter and I'm definitely going to get exactly what I want. Um, you know, it's just all about determination and perseverance and really how bad you want it. If you really want to do something, you will do it. No ifs, ands, or buts. You will find a way. I've always been a very determined, hardworking person to achieve just what I want out of life. Um, so I ended up moving there to LA, you know, I had visited the school fit um, in downtown LA. Um, you know, I talked to my advisor, whatnot, and I mean, after a while, you know, I was like, you know, I don't really know if this is for me. Like, yes, obviously fashion is for me. Yes, fit is for me. But in my time there, I had actually met so many designers and had did so much more research. And I realized that, you know, yes, the school is for me. Yes, I can go there and I can learn and, you know, make the connections that I need and um, the qualifications and whatnot and get a career after. But based on um, a lot of the designers that I had met and learned from and based on more research that I had completed about the fashion industry, I realized that, you know, if I really wanted to study this, I don't have to just study it at FITM because you can get the same exact courses kind of study and you know a way cheaper school yes FITM is very very expensive and yes I think it is worth it but I also think that you know you can find it at other schools as well so why spend all the money and so I also have you know free schooling in Florida but I had just really wanted to be in LA like so badly so if I do want to go to school I figure that I might as well just go to Florida where I have a free ride and do my thing. But at the time I was really so stuck on LA and just so stuck on this school in particular I'm like this is where I have to be this is where it's at you know um, but then I realized you know I just I didn't need to go to that school if I want I can go anywhere else um, and it wasn't just that, honestly, as to the reason why I didn't pursue going to FITM. I also realized that, you know, what if I don't want to go to school? 
and a lot of people look down on people not going to school, but I honestly don't think it's a big deal. I don't think you necessarily need to go to school to get to where you want in life, depending on what it is. Um, for certain qualifications, yeah. But um, there's also the route of just, you know, working hands-on, more of a hands-on experience, you know, working for an internship or another company and just like working your way up. I don't necessarily think that going to school is um, what can help you achieve what you want to be in life. I mean, it does help you achieve what you want, but I don't think that you need to go to school to exactly achieve what you want. Yeah, it's a big step in the door to do what you want, but you don't have to, I believe. You know, I believe there's other ways that you can still be successful without going to school. If you do everything right and you stay focused and you meet the right people and you actually work hard in doing what you really want to achieve, then yes, you will get there without school. And I've always been one to find a way when sometimes there seems like there is no way. A lot of people do look down on people who don't go to school. And you know what, that's totally fine. I honestly don't even care. You know, those are things that you should never really think about. It's like, oh my gosh, like people are gonna think I'm nothing or I'm gonna become nothing if I don't go to school. Like, do you know how many people are really successful without school? It's all about perseverance and working hard. It's all about determination and actually staying focused. And if you know what you want, then you have to get it. Where there's a will, there's a way. Now I'm just kind of focusing on the route of not going to school and working my way up. Um, just getting involved with internships or anything as much as I can. I first seek out online like different opportunities that I can find. Um, I actually did have an internship for a while. I was working for a celebrity stylist and that was like an amazing, amazing opportunity I must say. You know, like who gets to work for a celebrity stylist? You know, not many people. So I worked for her and then um, sadly, you know, it didn't exactly work out. And it would have worked out if I would have stayed focused, but distractions do come and it depends on how you handle it. You can either let the distractions get to you or you can avoid the distractions and focus on what you really want. So I did make a foolish decision. I did make a foolish decision to allow the distractions to take me over. Just so much was just going on with me and I really had a mental breakdown. So I did indeed make the decision to leave that internship when I had every opportunity to stay and just work really hard. Um, the girl that I was, or the lady that I was working for was so nice and it was just such an amazing experience and if I could go back in time, I would so, so do things differently. But like I said, so much was happening to me at the time to where I felt like I just couldn't go on. And it was not even working for her that had anything to do with it. It was just my personal life, just a lot of things within myself and other things outside of the internship that were just really getting to me. So um, I ended up leaving LA for a while. I was there for two years and I only did the internship for about a month. Um, but like I said, if I could, I would definitely go back in time. Um, so meanwhile, I am looking for other internships. I'm currently not in LA, but I will be going back to LA in a couple months and I will be seeking out more internships before then so that when I go out there, I'm prepared. I also have a couple friends that are designers. So, um, you know, they're really cool people and if I could work for them, then you know, that would also be great and an amazing step in the door. Um, honestly, like I'm one to not really care. Everyone has to start somewhere. You have to start from the bottom to work your way up. So if I have to scrub toilets, if I have to mop floors or whatever in like a big fashion building or whatever it takes, like I'm willing to work my butt off. I'm willing to do bitch work. I'm willing to whatever, I mean not, <laughs> Okay, not exactly whatever, do not take that the wrong way, but I am willing to work my butt off. There is no easy route, there is no if, ands, or but. You know, I'm gonna work my butt off to get exactly where I wanna be. Um, just stay focused and get involved with the right people. You know, don't get distracted like I did for a moment, you know. And after I got my crap together, I realized like, wow, like, I can't believe I allowed those things to happen to me. Like, nothing should ever distract you from what you feel really fully want to complete in life, you know, um, there will always be distractions in life, but it's up to you to kind of like work yourself past it and look past it, get yourself together and just focus on your future. I've done a lot of research and I've also met a lot of um, designers and whatnot that, you know, make it clear that you don't need school to exactly do um, what they're doing, you know, 
you just kind of like meet the right people and work your way up and work really hard and if you, especially if you're like really really good at what you're doing then you got this man you got this girl Go well, back to the FITM subject, if I would have went to FITM, I believe that I would have had a lot more accomplished. Um, but I did choose the route that I chose and we all make our own decisions, whatever. Um, but you know, FITM is very, very expensive so I kind of don't regret going there in a way. You know, I was going to take out a private student loan and for me that is just a no-no. Like I really wanted to go there that bad that I was considering that. But then I realized that in the long run, like, it might not be good for me. Yeah, I mean, if I get my career started and I make all this money, then yeah, um, it'll pay off. But I didn't want to spend a lot of time, like, working my butt off for what I wanted, only to um, have the outcome of me working really hard to just pay for my student loan. So I did take a different route. Um, it is taking a lot more time. Um, you know, it's been a few years, but, you know, that's the route that I chose. And I feel that sometimes it just really takes time to get to where you want to be and you just have to work really hard. My goal for now um, and continuously is to basically just continue to meet the right people that are interested in the same thing as me so that I can get involved and just be around those type of people because when you put yourself around people that are you know interested in the same things as you and the same fields and um, you know just nothing but positivity and and business oriented and whatnot, then you will definitely get there, you know. Um, like I said, for a while, I wasn't around those type of people. I was getting involved with a lot of people that didn't really have goals or wasn't focused and whatnot. And, you know, that changed dramatically after I realized how unhappy I was and how I didn't want to be a part of a lifestyle that um, just wasn't for me. I realized that, you know, my passion is you know the fashion industry and also various other entertainment stuff such as singing dancing and acting um those, those are my other hobbies but i i have a strong passion for fashion and makeup um but you know i will be pursuing both of those i'm gonna be back in la in a couple months um i'm gonna be getting together with some friends that i haven't seen in a very long time and you know getting involved with internships and you know just working and getting involved towards the fashion world as much as I can. I'm deciding whether I want to style or if I do want to just like design, you know, but obviously you have to know to do all of those. So I'm just basically gonna be getting involved as much as possible until I really find out what it is that I'm meant to do, um, whether I'm styling or um, working for another company, you know, or, or designing. So I'm just finding all that stuff out right now and I just can't wait to get back to LA and you know just get involved. If I could go back in time I would definitely have stayed with the internship and I would continue to work for her. She was an amazing person, she was very genuine and really freaking amazing at what she does which is why she's in the position that she's in and I would like to hope that one day I am in a position such as her. There is my FITM experience and thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you did like the video. Um, stay tuned for more videos and definitely if you have any other ideas for me, let me know. I will definitely take your idea. I'm always up for new things. I think my next video will be another makeup tutorial or I can also do a, another story time video if you did like this video. Um, I have plenty of stories to tell you so yeah, let me know what you think and stay tuned.